Hello everyone and welcome to Deal Mirror. If you're looking for a screen recorder, a camera recorder, or a video converter, then this deal is for you. This one is called Finish Screen Recorder and you can get it for $49.99. You get lifetime updates with this deal. You can record videos and you can also export them in GIFs if that's what you're looking for. Now the deal that's on right now, you can grab it for a lifetime deal. And if you want to check out right now, let's head on over to the actual app. This is a Mac app, so recommended for you guys. All right, so what are the tools you get with this one? You got screen recorder, you got a camera recorder, you got iOS device, so you can use your AirPlay if you have an iPhone and you can record the screen from there without actually having to record it on the phone and then bringing it back to the computer. You can also just record audio, video editor, and video converter. So what does screen recorder look like? So if we click on screen recorder, we can select what we want to record. So for example, let's click on, let's open this, Hold on, I want to open the screen because I want to show you something really cool. All right, so if I open this, I'm going to make it smaller. Going back to my screen. And if I click screen recorder, if I hover over a window that I have open, it will automatically select it. I can hover the whole screen or right here. So I don't have to kind of guess where do I want to record. So if I just hover here, I click on it, and that's where it's going to record. But I can also customize it if I want to move it. See how this... This is where the area is going to be recorded from. So if I just want to grab this window right here, I can do that. I can record on 720p, 1080p, and also 4K. Now, I can record right now if I want to do a test. So it's going to start. So you got 2, 1, and now it's recording the screen right now. And if I want to stop, all I have to do is click on the icon from Filmage Recorder. All right, so this is the Filmage Recorder. I can review it. If I click play, which I'm not going to do because I don't want it to do second audio, but if I click on this little scissors, that means I can start the editor. So once I click on the scissors, the editor opens and I can do further editing with this one. So this is the editor actually, and if we're going to do two and one, so you can see what's going on right here. And you got options to add some text areas right here. You got font options, you got size, alignment, color, and all this good stuff. So if I click on this text, and it's going to start writing. So deal mirror so this is a text I can do regular I can do italic medium italic I can change the font size and a lot more and if I want to add some object objects right here I can have squares circles arrows so if I want to point something out like hey it's $49.99 I can do that there if I want to do an underline I can do that there I can add a line right there I can change the color of the line if I want to or just whatever I want to do with that line. I can also select the width, see how that's getting thicker. Opacity, if I want to blur that. I can also do some editing, some writing right here. So I just want to write here. So hey, I want to circle this, $49.99. And I can circle that in this right here. And the way I can show you how to move this, I can move this line over here. All right, so move this over here. And this is the line I just wrote. All right, so you can't see anything. But if I hover, it's going to start doing this way. So let's just say, hey, $49.99. So it starts there. And if I want to stop it, I just move this and I drag it and it stops. So I'll just click play right here. Now, see how it just put the circle and removes it. So you can drag these right here in the timeline. If you need to do a little bit more fine tuning in the timeline, you can do a zoom and you have more fine tune. Also, you can add some audio right here if you want, or if you want to do a voiceover, let's just say you just recorded the screen and then you want to do a voiceover, that's possible here with this recorder option. Let's close this right now. Let's not save it, delete it. Also close this. We also have the option to record camera. So in this case, it's going to open my FaceTime camera. There it is. This is my other camera. And I can select whatever camera I want. So I have more options right here. Can close that I got the iOS device like I said the airplay but I'm not using iPhone so I can't show you that audio recorder which is really simple video editor that you just saw right now and the video converter so if I want to convert a video right here so if I'm just gonna select anything right here I'll just select this one it's gonna open the video converter so in this case I can select how to convert it if I want I can edit if I want to lower the quality Put up the quality, I can choose move, MKV, M4V, AVI, MPEG, VG, all these options are available. 
also select if I want a type of device. So if it's going to look better on iPhone, these are the options that I get. If I'm going to use it on an iPod, these are the options. And that is how you convert with this one. The only thing I want to show you last right here, I'm going to open this editor again. And I'm just going to open this same video right here. So once you're in the editor and you like what you've done, you can export this right here. So in the export, you get also the options on what type of file you want to use. MOV, MP4, M4V, and all these options are available. See how that also available? And you can use those to export. Well, guys, that is Filmish Screen. Oops. Film Screen Pro, and like I said, it's $49.99 for a lifetime updates available. Thank you for watching, and this is Dilmer. See you guys later.